Hello, this is Molly. Hey Molly, this is Ben Gertson with the Backcountry Barriers Contest. Last fall, we held a contest. To win a brand new backcountry skiing setup, a spot on an avalanche awareness course, and a day in the backcountry to test your new gear and knowledge. So I'd like to congratulate you on being our winner. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Living in Bozeman, the mountains are all around. I love to run outside but I've never been backcountry skiing. So we're here at Uphill Pursuits, getting Molly decked out with all of her Woo! new gear uh, and learning about what gear is essential for safe backcountry travel. Yeah, I'm stoked. <laughs> Let's do this. So first and foremost, we yeah, have the Blizzard Zero G Ski. Yeah. So the biggest barrier for me, I'd say, is fear, I guess. And a lot of that stems from not wanting to look like I don't know what I'm doing. Because a lot of people in Bozeman are really, really talented skiers and really talented outdoors people. And so that's amazing that we have that resource, but at the same time, it can be really intimidating. Step out like normal. Let's release the brake. Pull back on that. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to This there, you flip it up. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to walk them. Oh, sweet. So without the, uh, without the beacon, you can't find the victim. Without the probe, you can't really search where the victim is. And then without the shovel, you can't dig them out. Yeah. And so these are three pieces of equipment that we absolutely have to have. <laughs> can't oh. stop smiling. And it's hard to say, like, can you explain that to me? Can you dumb it down to level zero? Because I have no experience with this. What we're going to be focusing on is how to recognize whether or not you are in avalanche terrain. And so trying to find ways to get into it without putting myself in an unsafe position or feeling really vulnerable or looking like I'm dumb because I don't know how to backcountry ski, it's been tough. So plan on being at the, the meeting place at 9 a.m. It's kind of a double-edged sword of being in such an amazing community where we have access to all of these incredible opportunities and that means that all of them have these huge barriers so if you're going biking or climbing or skiing there's a huge investment in gear and in knowledge and that can make it so people get in these niches where they're only with people who know all of the things about skiing and they forget that people coming into the community don't have those experiences. How's it going? How are you doing? Doing great. I'm yeah. excited for a good day. I know this snow is a little bit of a surprise. Do you want to pull up the Abbey report? Yeah, and of check it out. Alright. Looks like we're in the yellow. We got quite a bit of new snow last night, seven inches. Nice. And we'll just need to be careful throughout the day as it warms up. It sounds like there's a possibility for wet slides. I really want to be able to get out in the mountains in a way that I've never been able to go before and really revel in this amazing place that we live and just feel strong and feel risky and feel daring while still Got being safe, of course. <laughs> and hopefully ski some rad pal. <laughs> Hey Molly. Yeah. Those are the slopes I was kind of talking about that we could go check out. What do you think about those? Yeah, those look great. Do you think we could maybe take that skin track up through the lower angle meadow to get there? Definitely. Sounds good. Okay. Ready to go? After you. Once again, no propagation, which is really good to see. Yeah. How are you feeling about, about our results? Overall, I feel like sticking to mellower slopes, but still hitting those. That sounds perfect. Right on. Well, uh, let's fill this in, rip off those skins, and we can go see some pie. Sounds good. Oh, 
All right, Molly. Get it. Have fun. Ideally, I can share this experience with other people. Like, obviously, I'm super stoked to get out into the mountains and be able to ski, but this feels to me like a launch pad to be able to really talk about these huge barriers that are up, because it's hard to talk about that. People don't really want to admit that this sport that they love can be really exclusive and hard for people to get into.